Nebraska Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome to Outreach Connection. My name is Sherry McDaniel and thanks so much for joining us on the program today. Today, Patrick Wilson is with us and he's going to share with us about the call on his life and, and he does that through music. And we're going to talk about that. We've got a lot to talk about here in just a moment. But before we do that, as we do each and every week, let's start with the Word of God. And we're reading in 1 John 3.18 that says, Dear children, let us not love with words and speech, but with actions and in truth. You know, it's, it's one thing to tell somebody that you love them, but how much more effective are we when they see our love in action? And today, that's what we're going to talk about, Patrick, how God has given you a message, and through your music, you're able to share that. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Sherry. Thanks for having me we're here. It's a pleasure to be here. You've came a long way. Tell us a little bit about yourself and where, where you come from today. Um, I live in a little town called Pleasant Hope, Missouri, uh -huh. which is about 15 miles north of Springfield, Missouri now, and uh, grew up in uh, over by Philadelphia area. I went to school at Marion County R2 mm -hmm. and, and was up visiting my folks and wanted to do this show and, and just came over today. Well, you know, Patrick, we met about a year ago. Yep. You came to our church. You're good friends with our pastor, Pastor Brian. And you came and you shared uh, the music that God has laid on your heart. And here in just a moment, we're going to listen to that music. But the other day when we talked, you said that that you wanted the message to be clear. And you said the first thing that you wanted to share with people was what? I just wanted the focus of this show to be on the gospel of Jesus Christ and not on myself Amen. Um, and just the message of Jesus Christ and, and God's saving grace for us through, through uh, the sacrifice of his son. That's and what you I share to that through your music. So right now, um, we're going to take time to listen to a song that you wrote entitled, Jesus, You Justify Me. Let's listen. I'm walking in your beautiful light 
new creation being sanctified through your death on the cross of Calvary. Jesus, you justified me. Patrick, the first time I heard that song, there was such a powerful anointing on the message. And I know you wrote this song, but it talks about the justification that you receive, we receive through Christ Jesus. And you shared with us that um, your songs come from the words that you read in Scripture. So how did this song come about? Um, this song was basically based on... Um, Romans 3 21 through 26 and justification in the Greek is it actually means to be acquitted mm. so when we wow. come to saving grace in Jesus Christ and we know Jesus Christ wow. then um, God regenerates us through the Holy Spirit and he also justifies us and sanctifies us but the justification is is basically God saying okay now um, you were guilty before now you're acquitted and not only are you acquitted but I'm going to take the righteousness, righteousness of Jesus Christ and place it on you and um, what occurred to me about a month ago it just kind of hit me was when Jesus Christ went to the cross and was crucified God it, it pleased God to take all the sin of the world mm -hmm. and put the sin all of our sin on Jesus Christ so and Jesus Christ was blameless he was spotless he never Amen. sinned mm -hmm. and so all the unrighteousness of the world ended up God imputed that and put that on Jesus Christ and then when we come to know Jesus Christ he takes the, the righteousness of Jesus yeah. Christ and actually places it all over our sin and says now you're no longer guilty we're justified. You're justified. And you know, because of that, because of what Jesus did for us, it's an amazing thing to be, and it's just almost too much for us to understand, yeah. but that we can stand righteous before our Creator and our Savior because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, um, let, maybe we should back up a little bit and talk about how you, uh, obviously you've always had a love for music, but how that became first place in your life. You grew up in Marion County, you said? And yeah, I grew up in a small town over by Philadelphia, Missouri. And... Um, I think this was part of God's plan from going way back because when I was four or five years old, uh, my parents had tapes of me actually singing things like Jeremiah was a bullfrog <laughs> and songs like that. They had the old cassette tapes of me uh -huh. singing. So I had this love for music even at that age. And uh, it wasn't until I was 18 I got a guitar for a graduation present that I actually started writing music and, and kind of started to... Uh, 
just really gravitate towards music and the message of music and mm -hmm. so then that took you on a journey yeah that took me on a journey um, when I was 27 I had was going to college at Hannibal LaGrange and wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do but I knew I loved to write music and I knew I loved to sing and I thought well you know it's, this is great sitting around playing and singing for the squirrels and the rabbits and stuff, but I just don't think this is going to get me anywhere. So I decided I'm going to go to Nashville, Tennessee. And so 1995, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee uh, to pursue a singing and songwriting career in the country southern rock genre. But mm -hmm. God had different plans brewing. Amen. Praise God yeah. that he did, right? Yes, absolutely. Because at some point that became second place in your heart, didn't it? Yes, yes. And, and so you talked about an encounter that you had with Christ in 2012 that just rocked your world. It was yeah, that I, powerful to you. Absolutely. Um, you know, when I moved to Nashville, I had this, you know, uh, this big grand scheme that I was going to be the next country <laughs> or southern rock star. And, and uh, God had different plans and, and I came close on some songs mm -hmm. that almost got cut by different artists and for whatever reason this deal or that deal would fall <laughs> through and I thought, God, well, you know, what's going on here? And I actually got burnt out on the music. I had mm -hmm. played, I did my own shows at the Bluebird Cafe, I had hosted them and played all the writers nights around town and just worked and worked and worked at it and I was working 50 hours a week on my regular job and doing that. And I just got burnt out and said, I'm, I'm done with this. And, and I just set my guitar down. I hadn't played it for like three years. And um, in March the 10th of 2012, through a series of events, through work and, and God's uh, <laughs> sovereign you know, will, I came to know uh, Jesus Christ as my Amen. Lord and Savior. I went through a powerful conversion on March the 10th of 2012 and uh, dedicated my life to Christ. And then God put the desire for music back in my heart about six months later. And uh, I was reading scripture. I was on fire for scripture because I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a, a fresh convert. Mm -hmm. And so I was reading all the scripture and uh, understanding it and just really loving it and had a hunger for it. And then one day I picked up my guitar wow. and I started strumming a few notes. And the next thing you know, here comes these songs out. The scripture starts pouring out of me in these songs. And I think Jesus You Justified Me was probably uh, about the second song that I wrote yes. uh -huh. after, you know, when I, first, when I went, got back and started writing again. And, and a little bit ago before we came on the set, you said it's from Romans, but it has a lot more scripture in it than that, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you mind if I read oh, the Romans 3.23? Yes. Because yes. I just want people out there that are watching to understand this uh, through the eyes of scripture. But it says, this is Romans 3.21 through 26. It says, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Wow, what an amazing, what an amazing... Do we understand that though? I, I'm not sure. We, we go through life having better understanding along our way. But what God has given you is the ability to see into that and then put it into music. And like I said, when I heard the song, I mean, you, you shared several songs that day when you were at church. Yeah. But this was the one that really grabbed me because I, I heard justification. That we right. that's the message, isn't it? And and you you've shared and and so um, one of the things that you said that I thought was pretty cool uh, that you start uh, writing music when you were about eighteen, and and now you've written how many songs? Uh, I would say probably upwards three hundred wow. something like that. I've lost track uh, years ago. But I've just got notebook after notebook with just songs all over the house in different places. But when you had this songs. conversion, then it became all about God, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just I, I um, 
just didn't have a desire to write country anymore. Mm -hmm. I just I didn't have a desire to write anything anymore unless it was uh, based on scripture, unless it was about God and and going back to uh, Jesus, you justified me. You know, when you asked me the other day, you said what scripture is based on. Mm -hmm. I said Romans three twenty one through twenty six. Mm -hmm. But I got to thinking because it's actually based on about four different scriptures. Mm -hmm. The first scripture where it says, I says, uh, he is my truth, my life, and my way. That is based on John fourteen six, yes. which Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, no sir. one comes to the Father except through me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, the second verse is based on Ephesians 2, 8. We're, we're saved by grace through faith, that not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone boast. That's the second uh, verse. And then uh, walking in your beautiful light was based on Ephesians 5, mm -hmm. where it talks about you once walked in darkness, but now you're children of God. So walk in the light Amen. as children of God. And so there's basically four, at least four scriptures in that song. Well, and you know what? Do we know that we're even walking in darkness until somebody shares that with us? You know, uh, just as you said, you were pursuing a career uh, in the things of the world, and and you know, I, I, I as you told your story, I could kind of see God nudging along the way that He was uh, had already. He said, before you were born, I knew you in the womb and had ordained you. You know, he'd set you apart to be a prophet to the nations. That's what he says to us, his children. And he has a, he has a design and a plan for each of us. So you could, as you look back now, you can see God's hand um, moving you toward, if you will, his, his plan uh, to further his kingdom. Amen. Absolutely. Even in the country songs that I wrote, <laughs> there were little parts of them that I can look back and I say, that was God moving me to wow. this point. Wow. Well, today you came a long way to share the message. And, we, you know, we're really grateful. Uh, you wrote a Christmas song that you yes, shared with us. Uh, and the title of that is? It's called It's All About Jesus. Amen. I can and hear a theme here. <laughs> it the, truly is. It's basically the, the song is the gospel. Amen. And um, I think you, when you were at our church, the first album was I Feel Alive. Yes. And right. you've, you're working on a second album soon to be released. Yes, and I'll I let you share with that about what, what you want to share. Yeah, um, I'm working on a second album. It's going to be an acoustic album, and uh, there's going to be 11 songs on there. And um, I'm really excited about it. God has just blessed me with some very powerful songs on this album. And I'm excited because I feel that this song is going to have a big impact for Amen. God and to share the gospel Amen. of Jesus Christ through this album. So, And it'll be out in probably a couple months, okay. uh, maybe just a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you go about your day, Patrick, and you're just going about life, how does God speak to you to put down in words what he's sharing? How it's, does it come? It's kind of hard to explain, really. It's, uh, there's a little bit of mystery to it, but usually I'll start out my day. I'll read uh, about 30 minutes or so of scripture early in the morning. And then I might just be sitting there four or five hours later and I just get this melody in my head and, <laughs> and this chorus and I just pick up my guitar and I sit down and, and start strumming. And, you know, sometimes, you know, within 10 to 15 minutes, I've got wow. a song. That's but it's amazing. like God, it's, it's, it's like God is saying, you're my child. I love you. Uh -huh. And I want to give you a gift today. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and that's the way it happens. I can't explain it, but it's, it's very emotional. It's very powerful because to have something like that given to you from the creator wow. of the universe to wow. say, and that's the way God is. He's that personal. And that loving. With, and that all, caring, with all of us. And that attentive yeah. to each and every one of us. Now, you Absolutely. said something when you and I were chatting on the phone the other day. You said that when you had this powerful experience with God, that he said something to you. He said... He wanted you to do what? To share his word. He said, yeah, he wanted me to minister for him. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's exactly what I've tried to do. And, you know, I think that people think, well, we get saved and then we just go on and do our daily stuff. And, mm -hmm. But there's so many ways that God, that once we come to know Christ, that we can minister for God. You could be a mechanic, a lawyer, a mm -hmm. doctor, a carpenter. 
and and God blesses us with these things it's not just music but just mm-hmm. to minister with your life let your life be about sharing the mm-hmm. gospel whatever it is that talent that God has blessed you with use that mm-hmm. hone that use that for the glory of God the gospel he's the one that created us and gave us that Amen. gift Amen. so you know it's just so important and he says that my gifts yeah. and callings are irrevocable so the call was on your life he was just waiting for somebody to say yes and that would be you and and that's so good what you said because a lot of people think well what do I have what can I do how can Absolutely. I share the gospel you know how can God use me but just as you said wherever we're at and where whatever station God has us in he says just give me right what you have give me what's in your hand what happened when the little boy gave the five loaves and the two fish thousands heard the gospel and were ministered to that day and saw the signs and wonders of the kingdom of God so when we just have a willing heart and are willing to give God where we're at and what we what we are uh, then he can take that and like you say the new life and then we walk in the new in the light of his love wow what a testimony you know Patrick this show always goes so fast, and we're coming down on just about seven minutes now. We don't want to uh, do this show without telling people how they can find out more about your story, uh, how they can uh, get a hold of your music, and where they can do that at. So let's take just a minute here, and let's share a little bit about um, some media information that you might have. If you have a web page, if you have a Facebook page, an email, a site that we can go to and, and share with the folks at home about that let's let's take a minute and do that now would you yeah um if you want more information on me you can go to patrickjwilson.com slash music forward slash music uh you can look me up on patrick joe wilson uh, at facebook and find me there um if anybody is uh wanting to do an event or wanting to have me do an event you can um email me at patrick uh wilson zero two at comcast.net uh, Patrick Wilson 02 at Comcast.net, or you can call me 615-405-2343. Um, I'm doing an event uh, coming up July the 20th. It's going to be at Halls Hall on Main Street in Palmyra at 7 p.m. Um, and uh, there'll be dinner there. The admission is is $16 per person. Uh, me and a, and a friend of mine, uh, Trent Pruitt, who plays music with me, will be playing an acoustic set there that night. Um, and love to see you come out for that. I'll have CDs for sale out there, mm-hmm. and you can meet me, and, and we can, you know, share. Talk then, about Jesus. Yeah, Amen. talk about Jesus and get to know me a little bit. Amen. Um, I wanted to do something like that up here because I don't live here, yes. but I wanted to be a part of the community, and, yes. and, and I'm up here all the time, and if you've got events up here that you want me to do, I'd be happy to do that. Mm-hmm. And I will be at Mount Zion Christian Church on July the 22nd, preaching at 11 a.m. in the morning. That's on uh, Highway 61 and County Road 425. It's about three miles. I guess it would be north of Hannibal, maybe northwest of Hannibal, but I'll be there also. Okay. Pastor Bruce and his lovely wife, Wanda, are here and supporting us, uh, the program and supporting you today. And so they'll be with you. Praise God. uh, It's their church where you will be at in July. July, So we're we're so glad that they come and and share this time with you. Um, Did you give us, you said the tickets are $16, but how can they get the tickets Uh, to the event? I don't have the phone number, but they can Google Halls Hall on Main Street in Palmar. And I know the phone number is listed right there. Or you can go to Halls Hall there uh, and and purchase tickets from them. Okay. They have shows there every uh, Saturday night. Okay. So if you want to go to those, one of those, and you can pick up tickets then, but... Okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much time we've got left, but probably, well, about three minutes, four minutes now. You know, Patrick, you said at the beginning of this program that you didn't want this program to be about Patrick Wilson. You wanted the focus and the message. 
to be about Jesus Christ. And we believe here at WTJR that every time that we're on the air, there are people who God has assigned to uh, be on the other side of the lens. And, you know, they've waited to hear this message, the message of the gospel and, and the justification, the grace that we receive through Jesus Christ. So uh, with a little over three minutes that we've got left, let's take a minute now and share uh, how people can come to experience the love of God for themselves. If you would, please. I would just like to say to anybody out there, you know, if you're being uh, called by the Holy Spirit, you feel the Spirit convicting you today and moving you. Um, there's a reason for that. God's mm -hmm. calling you. He's reaching out to you. And um, He wants you to hear the gospel message. The, the message is pretty simple, really. It's, it's one true and living God, the God of the Bible, our Creator. He created mm -hmm. us, you know, in His image, male and female. And then Adam and Eve sinned in the garden and brought about the curse of death and sin and eternal judgment in hell. But God had a plan of redemption for us through His Son, Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, John 3.16 talks about that, you know, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in Him would not perish but have everlasting life. So, um, you know, the message that talks about in Acts 20.21, 20, Paul talked about he went around preaching to the Gentiles and Jews. Mm -hmm. Uh, repentance towards God and faith in Jesus Christ Amen. our Lord Amen. and so it's um, basically saying to God I don't want to live in sin anymore and I know that I've sinned against you and will you forgive me for the sins that I've committed against mm -hmm. you and for rejecting uh, the redemption plan that you have in Jesus Christ and then and faith is the same basically as believe Romans 10.9 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So it's putting your faith and saying, I can't save myself, but I know that Jesus Christ and, and the Amen. work that He did on the cross through His righteous life, His crucifixion Amen. and death, and Amen. God raising Him from the dead, I want to put my faith in that, and I know that can save me. He you know, it's that. really just that simple. The Bible yeah. says, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We don't have to jump through a bunch of hoops. We don't have to try to figure this whole thing out or, or have it figured out when we come to Him. We just need to come. And we just need to pour our heart out. We're no surprise, are we, Patrick? No. When we come to Christ. But because of the love of God, He loves us just that much that He sent His Son, just as you said, to give His life to sanctify and justify our lives and give us new life and new life eternal. So today, if you just uh, heard this message and, and you experienced the love of God, you asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, Patrick and I just want to say, welcome to the family of God. We're just so thrilled Praise for you. God. And I want you to know that all of heaven is on its feet right now rejoicing because you've committed and given your heart to the Lord. And then we want to just encourage you to start learning all about God's love. There's so much that he has and he wants to show you. Patrick, thank you so much for being with us today. And for all of you, thank you for being with us. Until next time, God bless. God bless. Contact us at Outreach Connection, WTJR 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois 62301. God bless America. And thank you, America, for stepping up to the plate and wearing your cross on National Wear Cross Day, the third Wednesday of every July. This will be the fifth year for National Wear Cross Day. And this year, in 2018, the day is July the 18th. I feel like the sleeping Christian giant has awakened and your actions and prayers are being witnessed throughout the world and witnessed by God all.